Will Abbott, midfield. DJ Sloan, attack. Hunter Goodrow, defense. Dan Norton, coach. Last year, the Hopkinton Hillers boys lacrosse team finished the regular season with 14 wins and four losses, and in the playoffs, fell to Westwood to end the season 14 and five overall. This year, led by head coach Dan Norton and experienced captains, the Hillers are looking to take the next step in postseason play. It's been a lot of fun. We've got a great group of captains, as you can see here from the guys that just spoke. Um, and I think we got a pretty deep team. Um, you know, as I said before, they're very receptive to feedback and very coachable. And, and uh, we've been pushing this group pretty hard, harder than we have in previous years because they can take it. And uh, we're very excited to get going. Should be a good group. Uh, practice has been pretty good for us. We've just been focusing on working hard and coming with a good attitude every day. Uh, we're really emphasizing uh, having fun this year because I think if we have fun, we're going to enjoy the game more and have a better time, and that will lead to more success. Yeah, I'm just excited to play. We've had a couple weeks of practice, and I uh, think our team's ready to go. We can't wait to play tomorrow. Uh, love coming to practice. It's always a good time. And, you know, defensively, we uh, make sure we're always putting in work, focusing on the fundamentals, ground balls, footwork, and all that stuff to make sure we're as consistent as we can be. Uh, we're really focusing on our fundamentals here in these early practices before we can really get into the team stuff. Uh, we're making sure that everybody can catch and throw and uh, learn our systems and everything like that. Despite the rough weather so far, the boys lacrosse team is ready to play this season. Uh, we've been lucky enough to be on the field the whole week, so can't complain. What are some of the things you got the team working on early in this? Uh... Um, as the guys say, we're just focusing on fundamentals uh, because, you know, to, to run our systems offensively and defensively uh, without fundamentals, we really can't get anywhere. So um, just making sure we have all all 24 guys on the same page and, uh, you know, just working on some team building stuff and, and trying to have fun, like these guys said. And uh, lastly, very windy day today. How much of a conflict has the weather been? Um, I think for these guys, not so much because they're running and sweating, but us as coaches, we've been, uh, you know, a little bit cold. But, uh, you know, we can't control it, and uh, we've been just trying to control our effort and our, our fundamental work. And, you know, if we have a game like this tomorrow, it's supposed to snow, and we're going to be ready to play in it. So. I asked about what some of the goals are for the season. Uh, yeah, we have some uh, pretty ambitious goals, and but uh, really we're just going to work our hardest every day, going to be focused and have a good time. Uh, personal goals, I'd like to improve my field IQ, make sure I'm, I'm the best I can be and help out my teammates, and I also want to leave a lasting impact on the program as a whole from youth to high school. Just to get better every day, work as a team. Just got to focus on ourselves. Can't worry about other teams and uh, continue to improve all year.